Okay, I think that's probably going to be better. Just let me adjust the uh, sound, desktop noise. Okay, we should be good. How are we all? Six concurrent viewers, seven likes. Thank you very much for those already, guys. Just uh, just waiting for uh, KSP to load a bit. It was a bit of a rushed one today, I'm, uh, I'm afraid. Uh, my apologies for that. We've been... Uh... <sighs> We've been looking at prams. Cameron McDonald, good to see you. Uh, Space Soul, Red Fox 146, Ion, KSP Base X, hello to you all. Randa Ped, hello. Ion, my PC broke, so I couldn't send any more craft. Ooh, ow. Any idea what went wrong? Let me just pour myself a little drink. Whilst we're waiting, I am going to just nip over to the Discord, not to that, nip over to the Discord, and just make sure uh, everybody is... Right, where are we? Just, uh, just won't turn on fully charged and all. I could try to help by build PCs fully charged. So I'm assuming it's um, it's a laptop. Um, the only time I've ever tried to repair a laptop was my mum's when the keyboard broke. Um, I can't bring KSP up. Oh, it's finished loading. Taking its sweet time here. It's fairly odd anyway, so not too bad. I'll probably get myself a better one. Gonna uh, just gotta install my mods and remake craft. Fair enough. <coughs> Have you tested my SU27 to make sure it's working fine? I haven't I was hoping to get the chance earlier today, but things kinda ran away with um, time kinda ran away from me, so um, I'm afraid I have not. Uh, but FKJHSB1, hello to you. Let's go and um, go and check up on that one. I don't think I've transferred it across, have I? Sorry, I'm just... Right, so that is that, and that's the space plane hanger, and I'll just check these are both 1.9 compatible. I've transferred some across, but not others, so let's get you over here. Get back to that window. <coughs> can we try my w reworked SU57 because we didn't have time last week? Yes, of course we can. Um, go for that first. Hello, Diamond. Got hello, Legged Lack. Up to nine viewers. Good stuff. Was it the SU-57 felon? Let me just check what I've got in the old space plane hangar folder. Oop. <coughs> yes, okay. Just thinking about it. Thinking about it. In fact, I can just check on this, can't I? Just see when it was um, when it was last updated. Yeah, this is the one you sent me last week. Uh, 
that we didn't have uh, didn't have time for. Looking nice, looking very nice. Uh, like I'm here after a month burnout of KSP playmaking. Dear S Gamer, hello. I'm good, thank you very much. I'm good. How are you? How the devil are you? Good to see you. Everybody gets a bit of burnout now and then um, around YouTube. Um, especially when you're making stuff. Right, okay. Well, I suppose the only uh, appropriate thing for us to do is to try and get this thing into a dogfight. Make it SU-57 against my SU-27. Which one was your SU-27? I think I've got a bunch of them. Was it that one? Make some more planes. Yeah, that's the way it, that's the way it happened. That's the way it happens. Um <coughs> Yeah, I did enjoy um oh, it's a beautiful craft you sent me by the way. I really did enjoy flying that. It just it it it's um, in case somebody's wondering, I'm talking about, um, I didn't mean to spawn, I meant move. Ah! The episode of Fighter Subscriber that was up earlier today. It was Dear S Gamers Craft that, uh, made it after a, a very convincing win and a little playoff I had to, I had to, um, I had to run quickly to see who got that 12th spot in the, uh, in the knockout, in, sorry, in the gauntlet round. Um... And we want another one of you. Why not? SU-57 against SU-27. Uh, let's get the... Yup, you. And I normally pair Jebediah with Daffy, so we'll do the same again. This isn't tuned correctly, you just look at the roll. It was the ro the roll... I just, <laughs> I just had to go through because I tried to t do one um, one test flight with it, and promptly crashed. I had to I had to go and turn so many control surfaces off of roll, um, just so I could fly the thing. But it was generally generally a beautiful craft to fly. Uh, Su Sukhoi. And of course, Valentina Kerman. I've been in two of your live streams. Well, good to see you back again, Red Fox. Um, did you send me any craft? Loading craft. Oh, it's a it's it's a big boy. It's a large part boy. High part count boy. That is, that is... I, that's interesting. That's an interesting looking craft. I am going to be very interested to see how... Um, how this one does. They look like they're in different, completely different scales, the two craft. Uh, my crafter looks over performance. Oof, such as the YF23 from last stream. Um, and we need to go down once again. Too far. And we'll get Richmore Kerman out. I don't uh, have mods yet. Just got the game. I'm still learning. It's a. It's a. Well, congratulations on your purchase. You have many. Um, you have many happy, happy hours of uh, curbling ahead of you. You make much better crafts. They're not too much of a loss. I tend not to go for that. I prefer desktops because more bang for your buck and easier to upgrade. And if something does go wrong kind of easier to fix, or if needs be, just swap out a part. 
but uh, each to their own. Laptops do have one big advantage over desktops, of course. I can't, like, take this thing downstairs. BD Armory, Vessel Switcher. Yeah, I meant a desktop. Oof. Um, although my wife will be getting a... Um, save this quickly first, just in case I do something stupid. Like, not turn down my desktop audio for myself. Having turned it down for you guys. Okay. Let's quick save this. Sukhoi versus Sukhoi. Let's see. Uh, let's see who triumphs. How much fuel are these things carrying? I mean, the, the tanks aren't full. Actually, this could be doing all right altitude-wise compared to the uh, the Su-57s. Su-57s. I like I like the look of both these craft. This this is just sleek and beautiful, and this is obviously a very involved replica. That has just said, said screw it to the scale of things. I'm going for accuracy, which is uh, which is always beautiful to see. Place your bets now, by the way. And uh, don't forget, I'll give you a craft next week. Have a desktop with no GPU, so it's a big oof. When I first got uh, this thing, I I just went for the integrated graphics. Uh, the uh, the SU57's already launching the Sidewinders. Easy to dodge at this range if you uh, if you know how though. They uh, they don't. Oh, they don't have a radome. They don't have a radome, and that sounds like one of the SU twenty sevens is gone. Valentina Kerman though. We'll try and take some quick revenge. Who is she lining up? It looks like it's Jebediah Kerman's craft. Jebediah pulling some evasive manoeuvres. This might allow Dappy Kerman to come in and finish off the job though. Lining up the shot. Can't quite take it. Now Dappy, now... Oh. Too late. Too late, I'm afraid. Doesn't seem to want to shoot. What the hell is going on here? Oh, that's that is beautiful. That is just <laughs> okay. This this is this has been well balanced. Valentina Kerman, though, not shy with the cannons. Bringing it around. A well balanced craft. Now, Jebediah Kerman brings up the Sidewinders. What? What is going on here? Let me see if I can just nudge them into, um... Have you seen what I said on Zon 2 bit? I haven't looked at that. I, um, it's not... Actually, because I, if I get this mod, I know the controls. Yeah, that's fair enough. I, I drink, uh, many of those tanks. Uh, I haven't I I haven't looked at all the comments on the Zom 2 vid. It's not a smart word anymore, it's a Frankenstein bird, and I'm feeling so sad that I forgot to put a radome. <laughs> Last week I forgot the AI. Damn that turn rate. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Um It's 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 an F9 job, let's face it, isn't it? Mm, 
whilst I'm here, I will look at the comments. Oh yeah, I see. Sorry, I'm just looking at the uh, the comment here. I think that's a fair summary of the uh, fair summary of the vehicle. Oh, that is that is some serious turn rate. Damn you, turning bug! I'm just going to have to sort of place it there and then quickly start the competition and hope everybody takes off <laughs> okay that was a little close let's um let's focus on the felons this time jettison the amp jettison the amrams good call oh yeah. Oh, for goodness sake, hold still. Okay, jettison. 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 Hold. Ah! For goodness sake. Jettison. Oh, and I think courtesy of those uh, those little jettisoning, I think that's. <laughs> I think that yeah, okay, that's that went better. Fixed camera angle is your friend. <laughs> That went quite quickly. Um, oh, you're not even registering. Daffy Coman's craft is not even registering. We are going to do that again. Oh, this is... Um, let's see if I can do that right. Uh, we haven't. We don't have a huge amount of uh, craft to get through tonight, so we can... Uh, new stainless steel paint shop, I called it. This is just me, Amy. <laughs> oh, dear, you guys. fire like this? No, that's probably a bad idea actually, isn't it? Will they be okay if I just jettison them? Seems like it. It's the SU-27s that are really wanting to turn for some reason. But the moment I do that, it seems to um, doesn't seem to be quite so bad. I don't think that did actually did any damage. Nothing else seems to have um, nothing else seems to have broken. We'll just check. Yeah, nothing else nothing else broke there. Okay. So one last time, what the hell is that doing up there? Let's see if we can actually get a fight going. <laughs> One that we run properly from the off. Making gliders out of jets since 1962. Night music's night for you and daytime for me. It's it's not night, I've got the curtains closed. I closed them earlier because uh, we get the light in through this window in the evening, and it was just, it was just, it's a kind of warm, humid day. It's not, it's not that warm, but it's, it's that sort of low pressure, high humidity kind of heat, which is not pleasant. And the sun was just really shining, so I closed it, and um, it's quite a pleasant evening. 
Okay, this this should be a fairer test of all the craft. Valentina Kerman breaking low. Popping a lot. Oh, ooh, this isn't looking good. This is not looking good. <laughs> really is not looking good. Richmond Kerman trying to. Uh, oh. Jebediah Kerman. I'm an admirer of your piloting skills here, Jebediah, but I don't think. Oh! Oh, he managed it! He even managed to get the landing gear out, which isn't going to help him much now that he's upside down, but. All that remains of the SU 57. Daffy oh, Kerman going in for a little bit of revenge there, but. Interesting bit of interesting fight. Tactical boop. If I don't chat, I'm watching it over ITV at my friend's house. Over oh over TV at my friend's house. I see. This was my craft. I've only won once. Something else for a stream. Um, yeah, I'm wanting to do other things for a stream. I think, uh, well, as I said, we don't actually have that many planes to get through today, so um, maybe we could look at making something ourselves. Uh, is this friend a female human being? We're Kerbal Space Program players. We don't associate with that sort. This stream is awesome on 60-inch 60, uh, 60 TV. Uh, well, I'm glad the, the bitrate is high enough. I can send you some if you're running low. I am running quite badly. Although, that said, there's one of yours that we did, that we, um, I never got round to taking a look at. Because uh, a couple of weeks ago, I think we ran out of time on the stream and I forgot the next week. It's... <laughs> 60 inch. We've got a 40 inch downstairs. That's our main TV. 60 inch. We'll see how the rest of this stream goes. Um, so, yes. Legged Lex Craft that never really got an outing. Where is it? Where are you going? The Disco Tail. Legged Lack has a has a um, has something of a penchant for creating uh, improved versions of my own craft, and this is his take on um, my club tail. So uh, I think there's only one thing we can really and reasonably do here. Don't mind, can we perhaps do the CFA-44 versus your Red Hawk? Okay, after this, because this is a craft we haven't seen yet, but it's from a previous stream, so I think we'll do this. Then we'll look at the craft I have been sent for this stream, specifically. Then we'll look at uh, maybe doing uh, a few, uh, few uh, fights. A few different fights using craft I've already been sent. I've just done it again, haven't I? I've just clicked on spawn vessel when I meant move vessel. Ugh. That last fight, I think it's interesting because when you've just you've got two sidewinder, mainly sidewinder equipped arms and armed craft, uh, at least in terms of the missiles, it really is a case of who can get off that, you know, that perfect ranged Sidewinder first. There are lots of planes. I just started playing, so I don't have a lot of planes. They're mostly other people's. Mine's a uh, 55. 
or find a hack or bug how to make crafts in FAS unusable and self-destroying. Redworks weren't upgraded before this season, I would have... Um, my Red Hawks weren't upgraded before this season. It's... <clears throat> I, had to, I had to do something with my own craft, because um, just... What was I doing? Disco Tail. I can multitask. I had to do something with my craft because where it was uh, where we were doing the preliminary round, the quality of craft in the in the in the gaunt round was inevitably going to be just so much higher. So I needed I needed to sort of get my own craft up to that higher level. Um. And I mean, we've already had two, like, um, two craft who've had, had a perfect score, or ne very nearly a perfect score, as it is. So I just, I sort of made an executive decision that I would, I would go for the, um, the Red Hawks would replace the Cyclones who had uh, moved to uh, the preliminary duties, and I would uh, get use tuned versions of all my craft. Um, where are we? Disco Tail F1. Hang on, no, I just, I already did one of those, didn't I? Ah! Oh, God. I really cannot multitask. Ugh. Now I can't turn the brakes on, apparently. As I said, has meteor missiles, which doesn't have uh, SM missiles. If someone could, um, you know, source me a download for SM missiles, I'd be very grateful because it's one of the SM mods I don't have. Multitask.exe has stopped moving. Okay, let's. Um... So I apologise if I have caught anybody off guard by uh, using the. Um the tuned version of my own craft, but it, it just, you know, it, it is, I, I felt it was necessary to do something, so I, I did it. Hmm. Need to find it, that's part of the charm. Ugh. Lights. Yeah, I'm just sort of opening the window here, hoping that'll help things. Um, but yeah, we're going to need to I don't know, I think that's that's all right. How do you get on top of the VAB? Um, uh, we are going to be putting these up against my own club tails, by the way. It's a little detail I never got round to. The way you would get... Um, craft on top of the VAB if you have vessel mover is you press tab a couple of times uh, I just holding down shift To get it up high enough. No, oh, it doesn't like that. There we go. Apart from that, you the other only other way you're gonna do it is if you can land something in this space. which isn't normally something you'd get up to. Not successfully, anyway. 
But I mean, helicopters, VTOLs, th that should be fairly easy. There's no way to spawn it up there, it's just vessel mover or skill. And I personally would use vessel mover. Told shift, just get close enough and it will self climb. I, I, it can be buggy. Just vessel mover can be buggy uh, with that sort of thing. So I'm just, I was just being a little bit extra cautious. I might be being unfair to this version of um, this version of vessel mover because it was a previous version that I had difficulties with. Smartbird 2 will be very calculated craft and very... Whoa! I'm looking forward to the Smartbird 2 diamond got, I do have to say. The first one was a... Uh, was an interesting craft to fly. Okay. Get rid of vessel mover. So Legged Lax take on my club tail versus... Well, my club tail. What it? Oh, I. Oh, nuts! Please don't go too badly. I don't think I have five did either. Ah! Why must I be such a klutz? Right, fine. Let's just make it a 1v1. What are you, what are you doing? Now they're still just moving together. Oh. 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 Why? Okay. Quickly. Okay, I can do this quickly. Nobody talk to me. Nobody let me try and multitask. Pie face 64, nice sense, sure moaning. <laughs> let's just, let's just forget the aircraft. Let's forget the dog fights. Let's just send the whole stream off in a completely new and... <laughs> slightly less child-friendly direction. Ugh. Nine hundred and sixty-four subs before we uh, we started the stream. By the way, so uh, thank you, everybody. Anybody who's new, welcome. Great to have you here. Getting edging, edging ever closer to um, edging ever closer to the thousand mark. What has helped a lot is um, is doing the two. Bill Kerr, I mean, you don't need to be along for the ride. It's doing the two Skyrim streams a week. The, uh, the the algorithm seems to like it a lot more if you're doing... Well, the more videos you do, the more the algorithm likes you. But three seems to be helping a lot. It's enough for the win. Top plus it's fine. Thousand sub stream went on an official mug and shirt with SOS logo. Uh, I was I was thinking because of course I did say that some of you have been requesting a Patreon and I did say I, I'll set something up 
um, when I hit a thousand subs. Um, and I was looking at you know what what other people do for you know all different all different types of YouTubers um, do for their you know for their Patreon tiers. And there's um, there's some some girls who are respectable YouTubers normally. They do um, they do offer something. As I said, a little less child suitable for their uh, for their patrons. So it got me thinking. You know, maybe maybe I could put like a, a hundred dollar tier on my Patreon, and as one of the um, one of the tier rewards, I I send you every month. I'll send you my uh, my monthly not safe for work photo gallery. Then it occurred to me I'd probably make more cash if I said for a hundred dollars a month I won't send you my monthly not safe for work photo gallery. I've gone right past it. Where are we? I suppose I'm at school at home and they're currently doing A level current. I would draw concept graph later and make them you made quite a few. Uh, but only one transferred onto PS. See the X13K uh, Kaiser. And the Kaiser was a good one. I did enjoy showing that. Um, yeah, I saw uh, there's another YouTuber I was watching. There's a girl who um, who admitted that she didn't do anything else, nothing else in this vicinity, and it was just while she was at university to help pay. For the bills, she she did feet pics. Never showed her face. Never did anything like that. Would just pictures of her feet for people who wanted to see them. She was saying about how much she charged for like custom photo sets, just photos of her feet, and it's just like, what? Like a fairly plain, boring, vanilla custom set would she charge fifty dollars, and then if there's anything more involved, it would be a hundred dollars, and everything. Like, what? I just wouldn't bother going out to work, you know. Right. Save that like that. Switch teams. Let's get everything started. Quick save it again. Start an OnlyFans. You got some girls in here that will be chuffed to see your dad bon on disco pole. <laughs> Don't know why I can continue my craft. For hundred dollars, you get feet in a long inclusive massage twice. Some people, it, you know, different strokes for different folks. Although I'm not sure if. I should be really using that phrase in this particular context. Let's see what these uh, disco tales are all about then. I do like I do like the sleeker look of them, the um, the slightly narrower but longer look. What mods are you using, Smith? Hello, Judah Fisher, by the way. Uh, at the moment, well, obviously, BD Armory, and then my standard install is... Um, that. Uh, things like Tweak Scale, uh, Module Manager, and all the other background things you need. Okay, so my Club Tails... Oh, my Club Tails just getting their missiles away now. Managing to avoid the incoming ones, it looks like. Uh, then, for, but for the actual part mods and gameplay mods, oh, is that one of the? Di that's one of the disco tails just blown out of the sky. I'm happy because I'm surprised. If anyone's asking, I'm not being a, not being a dick about it. Oh, that was close. Is 
Is that a sidewinder? I don't know. What are they? Oh, no, Daffy Kerman. This is not looking good for you. I am genuinely surprised by that. Anyway, yes, mods. Uh, apart from sort of the background mods, I am using Airplane Plus, Fire Spitter. Uh, I've installed a couple more just because some craft wanted it. B9 part switch, that's pretty vital. Airplane Plus, some of these other ones. Um, I don't normally have that installed, that was for a craft. Uh, procedural wings, procedural parts. Um, KSP wheel. <sighs> NMB. Um, Quistec Aero. Procedural parts. That's my normal install, but yeah. In case you're interested. That's what I'm running at the moment. So just so you can pause it and have a look if you want to. That's what's in the unused mods section at the moment. And here's all the mods I haven't upgraded to the current version yet. Okay. So this that ends the show and tell version of this stream. I've got to get back to the um, space plane hangar folder. Yep. What was that? Feel free, Judah. Feel free. Uh, how do you switch planes with a button on the keyboard? It's the square bracket buttons. Yeah, okay, let's let's see what I've been sent here. Random guy, aka KSP Base X, has sent me his AV thirty five B. Dear S Gamer, aka Doris, um, has sent me a VTOL swing wing. Just making sure I've got Kerbal Aircraft Expansion. I'll see if I can get that working. But that is... Uh, do, 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 do. That... And Legged Lack has sent me. Oh, details for the mod pack. Okay. How the hell did I lose that? I don't know. I uh, I I do not know. But let's let's reverse the, reverse reverse this to the space plane hangar. Let's just see if I've received any emails whilst I've been waiting. Nope. Nothing there. Okay. I'll just check those are both working. Um, no, I haven't put them into the space plane hangar folder, have I? Ah, oh, it's not been a good week. My brain has not been functioning properly. I. If anybody, if anybody wants to watch the next few, uh, the next few Skyrim videos, we'll see. Yeah, really has not been operating at its most efficient this week. So let's go XXK 
contains locked or invalid parts. What are we missing? KAX jump jet. I don't have the Kerbal Aircraft extended thing, it looks like. The AV35B. There we go. I think I should have the stuff for that. It's a VTOL. No weapon managers tried to fly this. Did I hear right that I was being sent a VTOL? Oh, it's got a um There's an engine in there. Okay. Sad I'm sad too, dear S. I after um after the disappointment of the uh of the fighter subscriber, I'd hoped Hoped I could bring you some good news. We will be looking at that shortly, though, because um, I don't think I did anything differently. We do have something else to get to. Someone, uh, a craft I did receive during the week for the uh, for the stream, which we'll uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll do first. Last week we saw Randaped's, uh Sky Canoe in the form of the Eel Mark II. We now have the Eel Mark IV G. The craft on the thumbnail. My craft won't be presented. We did well until Red Fox. Yeah, I thought I thought I thought you were heading through uh DRS. I genuinely did. It just they were just quite brutal in those first two fights, and then it just it didn't quite do the job in the next one. But yes, the Eelmark 4G. I do like uh, an experimental craft. This one with a bit more wing area on it. Let's go see how that uh, that goes. Jenny got scared you would push me off too. Um, oh yeah, if if um, if just like how the pre went. How the preliminaries? Um, I presume that's what you mean. Yeah, I mean your craft did. I I did I did the playoff between you and uh, Daniel Garcia's. F-18E. And my god, your craft just minced those F-18s. Um, as I said, as I said during the video, I think it's five, five wins to zero and 15 kills to two. And we're going to want another one of those. Um, I recorded it. I haven't done anything with it at the moment. As I said, if I can, I can send the video to you if you want. Uh, I have to go at three o'clock. Sorry, but I'll see you next live stream. Uh, good to have you here, Red Fox One Four Six. Sorry you can't stick around. Um, be Duff be Kerman, yes. Yeah, but I can. Uh, I'll, I can certainly see if I can send you the video. Post it. I might. I might just just do it. Just um. Just convert it to a, a MP4 format and then just um. 
Actually, no. Com uh, if you're going straight up onto YouTube, it'd be best in QuickTime. I'll see what I, I can convert it to as an appropriate format, and I might just stick it up as a private vid and then um, uh, send out the address for anybody who wants it. Um, right. What am I going to put the Eel Mark 4G up against? I feel like it should be one of my... Oh, Requiem class submarine. Why is that not? That was another craft I was sent. I'm just going to scroll down. Contains locked or invalid parts. Kerbal Combat. I'm not sure if you're in here. Do you stream every... I do stream every week. Yes, Red Fox, I do stream every week. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to keep doing... Um, the mailbag streams every week as we have been up till now I'm going to put these a craft we haven't seen for a while since this is a single engine craft I want to put it up against my tiger tail So yeah, feel free to send me anything. Um, I have been, as I as I said last stream, I have been thinking about doing um, mixing things up a bit so we don't do um, the mailbag stream every week. Maybe every other week, and then we do something else. Maybe Kerbal Space Program related. Uh, maybe not, but something else, and then but stick stick to the mailbag streams every other week. I look forward to seeing you there. Uh, can you see F forty four? Okay, I on after this one we will uh, we'll expedite um CFA forty four versus Red Hawk. Uh and yeah. Hopefully we get through that before you have to go, Richmore Kerman. Yeah, sorry about your aircraft, uh, Kerbal Combat. I will... What was it? Um... What was it I was missing for the uh, for your craft? And also, yeah... Um... See you later, Red Fox. Take care. Yeah, Kerbal Combat. Do you know which mod it was I was missing for you? Because DRS is I'm missing uh, the Kerbal Aircraft Extended thing. But um, anyway, yes. And I subbed by. Thank you very much for the sub, Red Fox. Uh, see you soon. And yeah, take care. So welcome to Revenge of the Sky Canoe. Quick save it, and let's go. Tiger Tail's obviously not equipped with the Saturn engine. Still very light craft. Should be okay. It just it does look a bit ridiculous. It's got my standard loadout of the twelve missiles, but on such a small craft. Oh dear. Now my my tiger tail and my dragonfly, that is a craft I really would love to see you uh you, you try and uh try and rebalance and retune leg of luck if you um you fancy it? Oh, there, just the sidewinder only equipped craft. This is uh, this is going to make that. Uh, it's going to make this interesting. Oh, one of the eels just 
taken apart as one of the tiger tails gets similarly stripped by missiles. The eel now going after one of the tiger tails. The tiger tails, of course, have not been able to get rid of any missiles, so this will still be a quite heavy craft. But Richmond can manage to turn it around. Pouring gunfire in. The eel manages to loosen a missile, but it's a little too close range. Richmond Kermit now actually managing to stick to the tail of the eel Mark IV quite well. Oh! It was a joust. This is... Yeah, this, this can turn quite well. Almost effortlessly, in fact. If it got its arson gear a bit quicker, it could... Um, potentially be doing quite a lot of damage to the uh, tiger tail, but it's just... It's not happening at the moment. Oh, this could be it, though. Jebediah Kerman gets onto the tail of that tiger tail. <laughs> Just obliterates it. Just vanishes from the vessel mover. Another craft turns into a glider. Oh, poor Richmond Kerman. Oh! Jephthah Kerman gets too enthusiastic. He goes for the hand-to-hand -hand kill. Uh, send them my way and I'll, I'll have a go. Yeah, even better. I can give you a nice private lesson with tuning so you can do it yourself. Might be an idea. Well, thank you for that, Randaped. I think we will we will call, uh, call the... Uh, Call the eel the victor of this fight. I think it's only fair, especially given the um, the style with which it did that last bit of damage. Both the uh, both the tiger tail pilots survived. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I've given a request. So I'm going to have to, uh, I'll get going with that quickly, because Ion, before he goes, wants to see his CFA-44 CFA against my Red Hawk, and who am I to argue? The Nosferatu. I love that as a name. Another beautiful craft. it up a little bit. I think that looks about right. Spawn another one. Any particular reason, um, smell this, it took over Smith's face. Any particular reason you wanted to see the uh, CFA against the, um, against the Red Hawk Ion? We've gone past it, haven't we? I would, by the way, yes, I I would love a, a private lesson on tuning. It looks, it look, it does look from what I've seen um, of the discussions that are placing, taking place on the Discord. It looks an awful lot like um, a lot of carryover with the stuff with um, control systems that I learnt about with my degree. So be uh, be interested to uh, 
take a look at that. Um, I don't know. Maybe we could get some kind of kind of collaboration going on a on a on a tutorial there. We'll have to see. V9 PW Goblin. I was curious about its performance after tuning the Red Hawk. I mean, ah, I see. A PID experience, then it should be easy for you. Um, just uh, control systems, as in um, controlling aircraft. The theoretical side, just about um, stability and oscillating systems, dynamic and static stability, that kind of thing. When I was doing that at university, we were given uh, an assignment, a piece of coursework. I think it was my second year. And it was about control systems, and I just could not wrap my head around it. I genuinely could not wrap my head around it. I was going, I was going to all my friends who were on the course, and going, look, can you, can you help me with this? I just cannot, it just, it's just not making any sense to me. And they gave me some help, but after a while they were like, look, after a certain point you're kind of on your own here, let's... So I, I went home, I, I managed to get an extension, I managed to get an extra week to do it. Quick save. And uh, I don't know what it was, I was doing it and something just clicked. It just suddenly... And I did, I did the rest of the piece of coursework, and it was a, this was just before the Christmas holidays. I had to go, I had to go back up to university, about a week into the Christmas holidays, just to hand this damn thing back in. Um, so that's quite quite expensive given the petrol cost, but um, after Christmas, come January, we uh, we got the we got the marks back. And I got the best possible grade. And one of my friends who'd been helping me previously, I just went to just hold it up and ah, read it and weep. And in his own words, he nearly ripped my bollocks off. Because I've been pestering them for um, pestering them for help and be making a right nuisance of myself. And I'd got the best grade possible, and they I got basically a, um, a high first. And none of them had been able to get anything better than a third, if anybody knows anything about English degree grades. Taffy Kerman. Reduced to a glider there. Yeah, in fact, very few people managed to get anything better than a... Well, I got, I got an A1. It's A, B, C, D, E, and then a 1 to 3, depending on how you did within the grade boundary. And very few people got above a C, and it's like, oops, maybe you shouldn't have tried to rub your nose in that. So the Nosferatu not doing too well. Let's just get uh, Jebediah the right way up. Rewrite the Windows Explorer I've made a file with. A million gigabytes, boom! Jesus, uh, can I send? Can I send a better version of the craft I sent to your email? Um, you can, Kerbal Combat. I don't know why it. What particular? Um, let's go to the space plane hangar. So what did you send me? The Campelan SE4F, I believe, was your I was your actual aircraft you sent me, Kerbal Combat. What part is it? MBDA Meteor.
Can someone, anybody got any idea what mod that's from? It's at SMR, it's an SM Armoury thing. Okay. So craft I have been sent um, that I think I can do something with. This is the Kapachi. Sent to me by Semicon. And I just want to give this a go because I've never flown a helicopter in uh, in KSP. So I'm going to be playing as fast as I can to send for this stream. Oh, bless you, KSP BaseX. We will give your AF-35B a look, by the way. SM Armoury. Okay. I will remember to install that for next time. It... Tweak scale, tweak scale. By the way, really does throw a floody if you install, try and install. Um... Ah, ah. Okay, this needs. Um... Need some, need some design revisions. Okay, first experience of flying a helicopter in KSP is is not is not going too well. Oh god! Oh god! No, don't do that! Don't do that! Please don't do that! No. Oh, here comes the ground. Um. <laughs> I'd get out and run, guys, if I were you. Okay, um. Sorry, I just want to take a look at that. Confused, scared Smith noises. Sorry, I just I just wanted to take a look at that because I I've been sent it, so I I thought I'd um, I'd uh, I'd be kind and I'd be sort of polite enough to actually show it. I'm not sure I I'm not sure if it's me. Uh, if someone if if somebody kind of you want to get back in touch and let me know what the hell I'm doing wrong there, if I am doing something wrong because that um, yeah that didn't go as well as. <laughs> As I was hoping it was going to. And I I expect my own incompetence may have played a part. The AV-35B. So this is KSP BaseX's VTOL. Sent it to me, said, hasn't got any weapons, hasn't got... Uh, autopilot, any of that stuff, just try and fly it. So I'm, um, <laughs> look at how I'm doing it. Boom. Yeah. Hang on, what's going on with the landing gear? John Doe! Hello, John Doe! It actually gets a guess number three activates. Okay, that was... that was weird.
So now I just... Okay, press 3 and hope I pick up enough speed. And then it crash into the ground, which I didn't! Not the most manoeuvrable of craft. Oh god! Oh god! Okay, no I can't. I can't fly that one very well either. Set to maximum throttle. Ah, oh, that uh, that did did not go well. How uh, how are we doing? Um, how are we doing for uh, craft? I haven't been sent anything else. I'm going to give that one more go. I want to see if I can land the sodding thing. Here's is curbling time. Keys or hmm. Oh god, we've got to sort this out again. It's the K twenty eight. I'm being sent more craft. <laughs> Damn it. So now if I... can't get this to fly forward, it's not going to be very successful once I... Oh god. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, this isn't going to work! Doing flips. K33. <laughs> ah, uh, physics. So what have we? What have we been receiving? Legged lack tester. And Tony's K28. Just making a note of that. Right, let's take a look at the files. Yep, you're good. Yep, that's okay. Downloads, space plane hangar. I already have one. I'm not sure if you've already looked at it. We can look at it again. K-28. 
This is going to be such a show. Oh god, I, people have people are sort of aware of what I've let myself in for, and I have no idea. Right. There it is. 22 parts. Is it armed? Oh yes, Browning 50 cal. Any countermeasures? I mean, because I'm not sure I can put this into a, a fight. Any countermeasures hidden in here? Doesn't look like it. It's a gun calibration craft. Okay, you've got you've got me uh, you've got me you've got me um, curious now. Let's take it. Let's stick it into a. Well, I'll just do a one v one against itself. That was my stomach. In case anyone could hear that. I don't know what it's grumbling about. I. Just, Gave it a good dinner. In case anyone's wondering, cu homemade curry, and I make a I make a brilliant curry. I'm gonna buy some chocolate cake. Which was good. I'm still very curious to see why everybody's reaction to this craft was, oh no, not that. Not that one. On ES Games, hello! Curving time, hello! Hello to everybody! Vessel move a vessel switcher. Let's do one aside. And let's see why everybody. 40. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're gonna need. We're gonna need. In, we're gonna need infinite fuel for this one. It's just so light. <laughs> Look at the speed it's up to already. I'm sad because I couldn't go to my granddad's. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Ollie. This is legged. This is legged lax craft. You might. The name might have given it away. Oh my god. The thing is, it's it is just so light. Forty units of fuel. How long would this thing last? How long? How long would this thing last if you didn't have infinite fuel on? It's just a series of jousts. They can both just turn so fast. Oh, something got something got shaved off of one of them, or at least it looked like it did. I think it was the other one. We go in for another joust. 
nothing happening this time. It looks like they're losing parts, but I can't see... Oh yes, yeah, now I can. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think it's pretty clear what's missing now. Valentina is helpless as Jebediah tries to close the distance. Just about managing to pull some evasive manoeuvres. Ninety seconds. Watch this accuracy. It's not. I think Valentina's craft is. It's got a bit of wobble to it. I'm not sure it's going to be that easy for uh, for, for Jebediah to um, to get his guns onto target. I mean, he's closing closing the distance. Oh, it's getting closer and closer. Is Valentina going to be able to pull out of this? So I didn't make a plane and send a plane and my hamster escaped and I found him. Oh, it's good that you found him. I know um, small pets like that can be a pain once they, <laughs> once they do get out. Um, we've always been more of a my family's always been more of a cat family, so we've not really, um, not really had to worry about pets escaping. Just pets constant. If you've got a cat, the only thing you have to worry about is pets constantly asking for food. And maybe crapping in the garden. Jebediah and Bill are victorious! Don't worry, don't worry, um, Dio over heaven, hello. Good to see you. Um, Ollie, um, don't worry about not sending a plane. You don't have to make a plane every week. It's been a bit quiet this week for craft, actually, but, um, not to worry. We've managed to, we managed to, uh, string it out pretty good. Pretty well. K28 strike foot. Oh god, what don't I have installed now? MBDA Meteor. Again. Oh, this isn't going. <laughs> Welcome to the story of this stream. Yeah, it's another um it's another SM armory part, isn't it? Well, it's the SM armory part everybody seems to be using. That is the wrong one, then. I'll send a different version. Okay. If we've got a bit of time, then, I am just going to go down here. is one of the things I was sent for um, for the second birthday live stream and after the earlier mishap I just want to see if I can get this one to fly successfully just you know after the last time let's hope thank you very much uh, John slash Tony I will get that Powers pack. Watch Gravity Falls, and I have two cats and one dog. I'm trying to uh, sit in my sight. And a hamster, I'm tired. Keep them in my sight. Ah! I don't blame you for being tired if uh, you've got to get up to all that. Oh, I see. You do that, and that adjusts the. 
Huh. Okay, that seems to have done it. What exactly it's done, I'm not sure, but... Okay, this is a bit more like it. Oh no, oh no, oh! Damn it! Just walks away. <laughs> Jeff and I just watch out. Jeff, oh, watch Joe. Oh no! Run, run for your life. Right. Let's take a look at Tony's craft, shall we? Uh, let's get rid of the one that we've got in the space plane hangar then. Uh, K28. Test a craft to compare to each other, one with old BDA and one with new BDA settings, the new one is impossibly superior. It sounds promising. Uh, any idea when the uh, when the next version of um, BDA Armory is coming out, Legged Luck? Um, okay. Two months ago, uh, my cat Licorice died. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, um, Ollie. It's always, uh, always, tough when they, uh, always tough when they go. Um, just, you know, give them a good life and let them make your, your own life a little bit of a pain through bringing in, um, okay, crafting compatible. That's an improvement. Crafting compatible is an improvement. Yeah, but we've always had, uh, always had cats. The one my parents have at the moment has over the course of his lifetime managed to kill five pigeons. Th those are, at, the, at least those are the ones we know about. Including one that was alive when he brought it in. Was later found dead. And our, our wooden hallway Suddenly had a new, very thick carpet carpet of feathers. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, I'm liking this. I like the look of that. I do like the look of that. Sorry, just the uh... uh, LFG O two should be a match for that. Uh, I'm assuming that's a craft I've got. Somewhere in my little uh, my little re repository. I 
I need to have I need to have a clear out of this. This is just getting ridiculous now. I just need to so many craft. So many craft. I'm um, uh you're off DRS gamer. Well good to see you. Uh, what am I doing? I, I, uh, I don't turn this craft round, do I? I? Just wait until I get the next craft, and then you turn that round. Oh my god, what is wrong with my brain? Use the craft manager mod, it helps organise stuff. You can search for craft as well. I'm going to make a note of that. I am hoping... I'm hoping this UI gets a serious upgrade. It's um, in KSP2 because it's it is starting to get a little bit tired now. Um, whilst we're waiting for Legged Lack to chuck us something, I am just going to put this up against my Cyclones. I, I, I know I know I'm I'm hideously disorganized right let me let me just right I've got it I've got it up on uh, on on Chrome so now I I, I can't forget. Fighter subscriber. K28 will mince the cyclones. What well, if they do? I'll, I'll I'll blame the guy that tuned them. Uh, right, we can get rid of vessel mover. Just quick save that. Switch teams. Yeah, if you hover your uh, cursor on a uh, bat key to move it, so it's pouring down. You have made uh, a conco bomber. You could make a. You could make a new AC one thirty. AC one thirty. I've already made an AC one thirty. I'm not sure if I've got all the mods installed for it, um, but I made a video where I made an AC-130. Both Panther, uh, both craft um, opting for Panther engines, well I know mine's using, using Panther engines. As I said, they're one of my one of my first ever craft I designed. I didn't even know about the Saturn engines in the BD Armory mod when I um when I designed designed those. Uh yes, uh hover cursor apart uh to move up and to second uh, go is pouring down. Uh yeah, it's been pretty been weather's been pretty bad here as well. Oh that is a lovely turn right there. That is just beautiful. Yeah, I don't think you're kidding. You were kidding about the whole mincing thing, were you? 
Why haven't the cyclones launched ECM jam? One ECM jammer shouldn't be enough to stop my cyclones from locking on. Oh god, here come the sidewinders. Oh god. Oh come on Richmond, we'll get get one missile away at least. Yeah, you were right. The K-28, yeah, definitely... Definitely did quite well there. Oh, of course, it's a Kerbal Powers craft, so it would have to... It would have to use, um... It would have to use the Panthers, wouldn't it? Because that's not allowed in, um... Ha-ha! <laughs> The hunter becomes the hunted. Decapitated. Still carrying. I'm assuming it's got a drone core. Lost its uh, lost its air intake, so we'll just um, we'll just tumble into the ground. But it's quite impressive. This is a very well put together craft. Which doesn't mess about. Um, I have to get airplane plus and BDA. K33. Yeah, um. Not 20 with that missile. F 14 fire and death. Curbling time about the F 14. Hmm. Uh, right. Let's just... Sorry, I'm just I'm just scrolling up on... Um, sc scrolling down in the... Scrolling up and down on the comments and it's... Um, it's zooming KS, uh, KSP thing. I'm going to... I'm sorry, I just have to. Is there a hotkey for, for afterburners? Doesn't seem like it. I'm just going to see... Oh, that is... That is smooth. This does remind me of flying... Um, DRS Gamers Craft when I was doing a test flight for uh, just before obviously you, know, you saw the results of that with the video earlier today but this is smooth that is obscenely smooth mm. could maybe do with a little more roll authority but it does make it much easier to fly Oh, this is this is this is the KSP aircraft equivalent of a of, a, of an eighteen-year-old single malt scotch. Yeah, put Saturns on this, and it, it's going to be ridiculous.
What would happen if a BF-52 in this game was being escorted? Um, anyway. Legged like luck. did you, uh, did you, um, sort out that craft? Let's just see if I can load up my, uh, my AC-130. Ah, uh, no, I can't. What's, um, Kerbal Aircraft Expansion. I don't have that installed. But yeah, I did. I did make one. I do have a video um, I made about about it. In DM, got it. By the way, have they fixed that? Have they fixed that bug in Vessel Movie yet? Wait one minute. Well, I'm I'm assuming there's something wrong. Well, we'll have a look at we'll have a look at it. It's missing AI. Um, the one where you can't spawn vessels. I see what you mean about this. This would be a good. Um, this would be a good match for it. What's that there? Oh, I see. Hmm. I built the Minecraft. I built in the Minecraft the crust crab. I can't hear you. Ooh. Yeah, it's still broken in one point ten. That's what I thought. Minecraft, that's a game I haven't actually tried. Oh, I'm assuming this is another Kerbal Powers craft because <laughs> Yeah, there's there's some stuff here I wouldn't let you get away with in um in Fighter Subscriber. Yeah, I see what you mean about this would be Hmm. Excessive clipping. Ah. Ah, uh, right. Let's see if I can find Q quick save. I'm assuming that is the quick save. I think we'll do this fight and then I think we'll wrap it up for uh, Titan RT. Hello. Good to see you. We just, uh, I was about to say, I think we'll just, we will, um, we'll try doing a fight between, uh, as you suggested. I'll have to put my bottle of drink. Um, between Tony's K28. Uh, let's recover this vessel. And your, um, your LGFO2. Once we've got the uh, once we've got the um, the version with the AI. Both surfaces improve the looks. <laughs> I'm I'm not sure I'd let you get away with that. Okay. Into the old space plane hangout. Get rid of these. Oh, in case anybody's wondering, I do sometimes get asked. You don't need to send me 
the load meta file, you just need to send me the um, the craft file or the dot craft file, whatever you want to whatever you want to call it. I pushed rules enough with the slapstick. Yes, 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 you did. Not as much as some people, though. Mentioning no names. Right, vessel mover. Spawn vessel. Um, yeah, there's been a few craft I haven't been able to uh, to get round to today. I'll I'll um, I'll look to install the prerequisite mods, uh, Kerbal aircraft expansion, and uh, SM armory, and uh, tweak scale. Or tweak scale will throw a wobbly, of course, but uh, I will. Um, Ignore it and hope for the best. Kerman. I uh, I did try and get my wife to watch uh, Top Gun the other day. Um, unsuccessfully, unfortunately, but. Uh, I'll I'll keep trying. She, uh, I mean, she she didn't feel like it, and she had a she had a hard long day, and she is gestating my firstborn. So I thought, you know, fair enough. Quick save this. Let's see what the LGF O2 can do then. That's a point. Uh, I still have infinite propellant on, don't I? And I will need that off. There we go. Um, this is barely. Ba this isn't generating enough electricity. <laughs> Two ECM jammers. One ECM jammer. This isn't generating enough electricity to cover its own ECM jammers. Sidewinder's going in, Sidewinder's travelling in the other direction. Yeah, difficult to hit at this range with those. Jebediah come and comes about. Look at that! No chance of locking onto anything. With the uh, with the Amrams at the moment, what was that? Where did that come from? Daffy Kerman in all sorts of bother now. Did da was that friendly fire? Because Daffy Kerman does have the sidewinders lined up, becoming popping at a ridiculous amount of countermeasures. It seems to be working for the moment. 
pulling some hard evasive manoeuvres comes out of it dodges that last missile it's gunfire range I didn't think that would happen craft with this many sidewinders I thought oh is there another one coming in somewhere that LGFO2 breaking very low there Now Daffy Kerman has the sidewinders. Oh. The LGF-02 takes some heavy damage. The other LGF-02 though is peppering. Peppering Daffy Kerman. Just sidewinder after sidewinder after sidewinder and eventually she falls. The K-28's really, really almost pulled off an incredible comeback there, but uh, but not quite. Adrana, Adrana, good to see you. Came from behind. Yeah, it did. <laughs> It just, just I was looking at looking at two two fighters in the distance, and this in the um, the K twenty get here, and this sidewinder just put in from the side. Ah, oh, eat seven missiles instead. Is there a is there um? There's no there's no switch mode missile. Sorry, no switch mode switch engine mode um, hotkey on this either. I assume because it's sort of designed for um, it's also designed for uh, for AI battles. Again, very low very low roll authority. Is that is that something to do with the um, is that a deliberate design decision? Doesn't quite have the turny of the K28, but still a very nice craft. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's see if we can get some gun kills. I think both craft have been uh, stripped, stripped of their missiles. I think, yeah, as I was saying earlier, I think this will be the last fight for today. Oh, Valentina Kerman's craft. Maybe having a little bit of difficulty there. It's not the term rate, it's how you use it. I oh, know, I tried to add them, but when. Ah, the old M230. <laughs> Valentina breaking very low. I'm not sure how stable her craft is. I'm not sure how advisable this is. Yeah, she's she's not doing too well there. Richmond Kerman coming in, trying to line up a shot. You can just see from the uh, see from the vapor trail, it's squirreling all over the place. Getting very close now, though. There we go. Engine's gone.
Okay, so victory for the LGF-02 over the other LGF-02. Have you used my K-45 yet? Um, oh, when did you send that to me, Titan? Let's just start the blank. The blank save. I think I forgot burst rate to 60. Sorry, I didn't see the uh, didn't see that message. Another dozens of gliders. Dozens and dozens of craft reduced to gliders. Sent it last stream. Did we not take a look at your K45 last stream? Um... We took a look at your K30 and your K47. Next week's Smart Bird 2 will be finished. I think the K28 could take it if it did not team kill. Yeah, that was that was a bit unfortunate. Let me just go into the uh the inbox. K forty seven. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, you sent me the K35, and I think we took a look at that. I'm not getting a K... Um, DM the K45. I think we're going to have to... It's 9 o'clock. I think we're going to have to say it will... Um, the F F4U Corsair. I think we're going to... It's 9 o'clock. I only plan to stream for two hours. I think we'll have to if I if you can if you can send me those craft, we'll take a look at them next week. But I think I think we'll have to call it a day there, because uh, I've got a couple of things I need to I've got left to do. Um, we've got uh, I've got the in-laws coming tomorrow, which no I I, I was about to say Ugh. no, but I I like my in-laws. They're actually quite nice. Um. Yeah, keep keep those craft coming. We'll probably do the same next week. I am still mulling over what to do in the long term about the um, about the Saturday streams, um, because uh, yeah, I mean it, it's it, I enjoy doing this, but I think I think maybe every week might be pushing it a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, so in the near in the near future, we will be looking to do something. Maybe the mailbag stream every other week, and then we'll do something uh, in between. But yeah, I think I am going to wrap it up there. Um, so thanks for coming along, everybody. Uh, good to see you all. Sorry, sorry that we're going just after you've joined us, Titan RT. Uh, if you can get that craft to me, that'll be um, that'll be fantastic, and we'll look at it next time. Um, yes, so Skyrim during the week, Monday, Wednesday, uh, hopefully another stream, Warcraft, probably, uh, on the Wednesday, and then next Saturday, more fighter subscriber, more, more mailbag, and, uh, I'll see if I can make it some decision about what we're doing in the future streams. Um, for, yes. Thank you very much, uh, BaseX. I've got that, so we'll we'll take a look at that next week. I will make sure I've um, installed these couple more mods, and I will I will promise you take a look at Craft Manager. 
Uh, we'll take a look at it now, in fact. Uh, thank you for coming along. I hope you've enjoyed it. Is there such a thing as too manoeuvrable? Uh, sort of. There is kind of such a thing as too manoeuvrable. Because you just... You just... You can flip out too easily, and you can lose too much speed in the turn. Um, it all depends. whole design thing is a... Sort of design... Designing these craft like all kinds of engineering. It's all about trying to balance various different factors. Um, it's... Good way of putting it there, good luck. Yes, so, yes. Anyway, yeah, let's wrap this up. Thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, more stuff, Drew. More stuff next week. But uh, until then, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.